Hey, it's Captain Matt, Boater Secret Weapon, and today we're talking about expensive mistakes that are made at the boat ramp and how to avoid them. The first mistake that you'll often see at the boat ramp is forgetting to raise up your lower unit before you pull out. So you get it all loaded up, you get it on the trailer, you get it tightened up on the winch strap, and you forget that little step of pulling your drive up. Lifting that drive up on your stern drive or outboard, it can drag on the concrete, which can either damage your gear casing um, that uh, where all the, the gear oil sits, or can break off the skeg, depending on how you hit it. Avoid that mistake. Always remember to trim up that uh, lower unit and put that in the trailer position when you're pulling out. The next is forgetting to set the emergency brake and maybe even blocking the wheel, depending on your vehicle, depending on the condition and the steepness of the ramp. I always carry a, a set of blocks, a, a chalk that I can put under my front wheel if I need to, if I feel this ramp is a little steeper than I'm comfortable just trusting my emergency brake and my park in my uh, automatic truck. If I have a uh, automatic or a, a manual, I'm going to use that every single time. It happens. You're, you can jump out of gear. Your emergency brake can fail. It's a number of things. And just, I got it for like five bucks at, uh, at a West Marine, or maybe it was even an advanced auto. And you just shove that block under your front wheel when you hop out. It takes you two seconds and keeps you from being this guy on Qualified Captain or, or the boat ramp fail videos. The next thing you want to watch out for is slipping and falling. It, it's not going to damage the boat necessarily, but it can easily damage you. You have to remember that water it's probably grown some seaweed and some really slickness on that boat ramp. And hopefully you take the, the trailer like a pro program and you can, you can put your boat on the trailer and you don't even need to get your feet wet. But if you do, if for whatever reason you have to get into the water and you have to step on that ramp or anywhere around the ramp, no, it's going to be slick. Have the right type of shoes on that have good gription. Just take it slow. Have a handhold on the boat, the trailer, and remember, just be careful and take it easy because it will be slick and there's a lot of things to bang your head on, including just the concrete. Next is when you're backing down the ramp or pulling out, make sure that you have your winch strap tight and that it's it's ratcheted up and that it's in the locked position and make sure that your winch strap is in good condition and your safety chain is on. It's too easy for a strap to break, to forget to hook it up, and you back down. You're like, oh, I'll just slide off when I get to the water. And for whatever reason, you got to apply the brakes a little bit as you're backing. That momentum can carry your boat right off those uh, those tracks, right off the bunks, right off the rollers, especially especially if they're wet. They'll, they're slick. If you are pulling out and you got to give it a little bit of gas to pull out and you don't have it hooked up right, you can easily, your boat can slide off the trailer. It happens hundreds of times every year. And again, it's real easy to avoid it. Just follow the right checklist, which we have in the trailer like a pro program. Um, but know what you're doing at the ramp and avoid these by getting that winch strap locked on nice and tight. Of course, you knew this one was going to be on there. An expensive mistake is forgetting to put that drain plug in. It's got to go in each and every time. If you're like me, I've got multiple. Have one in the glove box, have one in the boat, and, and have an extra on hand somewhere tucked away if you need it. And make sure if you need that reminder, um, maybe it's a checklist that you use when you're when you're trailer boating and putting in at the ramp. But before that boat gets back down into the water, double, triple check that that plug is in because not only is it embarrassing, it can be very, very expensive and damaging uh, to the components of your boat, your engine, and the boat itself. Next is use transom tie downs. I, I see all the time comments on social media saying you really don't need them. It's not necessary. The only time if, if you're in an accident is they're going to break anyway. False, false, and false. If you stop suddenly and your bunks are wet or your boat has even just a little bit of movement, it can easily break that winch stand and ride right up into your vehicle, hurting somebody, damaging your truck, damaging your boat, causing a big problem on the road. Um, use the winch stand, the, the transom tie down straps. They're super easy. They're inexpensive. There's really no reason not to. And boat buckle makes some that you just bolt right to your trailer. They just retract right back down when you don't have the boat on there. They pull up and you can lock them down. And also, along with those, make sure that you have the bow of your boat tied up against that bow stand and that winch strap nice and tight so that you have three really tight points of contact. And if you do have to stop suddenly, there's really no movement from the boat, which means no, no weight distribution is happening, no force is really happening, and the trailer absorbs everything the way it's supposed to, and you're nice and safe. If something goes haywire, you may have seen this video, his e-brake pops or, or it pops out of gear for some reason while he's in the boat, the truck starts rolling back down into the water and 
he overreacts, he gets too excited. If something like that happens, sometimes the best thing to do is just to let it happen. He jumps out, and you can see he's rolling right by the wheel, and he nearly gets run over by his truck. So not only did he lose his boat, his trailer, and his truck into the water, he dang near got his head crushed. So if something bad happens at the boat ramp, maintain your composure, relax, just sometimes just let it happen or be real careful. Don't overreact and make this tr the situation worse. If you're a new boater, grab the boater boot camp. It's totally free. It's going to teach you the things that you don't know you don't know. If you're a, a boat buyer, a shopper, grab that toolkit. It's totally free as well. And of course, the best boat captain on the water training to give you total control of your boat. And along with that is trailer like a pro that if you're nervous about trailering your boat, being at the ramp gives you just anxiety. Check that out. Remember, life truly is better on a boat.